You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, B&B fans, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and there's finally some information about the promised Sheila Carter twist. We've got someone new coming to town the week after Valentine's, and I suspect that the names they've used for this new gal might be intended to mislead about who she really is. Could it be Sheila Carter's daughter coming to the CBS soap opera? Click subscribe if you haven't now, and let's talk about it. So we wondered if they were bringing back one of Sheila's many several other kids, and she does have a pair of twins who were only seen over on Young and the Restless. I'm wondering if one of these twins heads to LA to meet her brother, Dr. John Finnegan. So the timeline on all this is we were told for the 2024 B&B spoilers that were supposed to happen within the first couple of months that there's a jaw-dropping storyline coming for Sheila and Deacon, but time's slipping by and we've seen nothing of it. I recently made a video asking if Brad Bell was just going to let that spoiler slide and never do anything about it. And then... We saw this little video on Kimberlyn Brown's Instagram that gave some more hints. If you don't know, Kimberlyn, of course, plays Sheila Carter. She was reading a script on her little Instagram video, and then she looked completely shocked, and she laid the script down, and you could see a little bit of the script. The script was for scenes starting on February 19th, and they mentioned the name Lucy. So CBS Press just issued some new photos with two new characters, and They are seen with Sheila and also with Steffi and Kelly and at Steffi and Finn's house. So it's kind of a weird overlap. In the Kimberlin video, of course, as I said, one of the names seen was Lucy. And then in the CBS press photos, they used the same name for the the grown-up, Lucy. And then the kid's name was Danny. So the role is played by Amanda Klutz, who is known for The Talk among other things. The actress is 41, and she's listed in the press picks as Lucy, and with her is her son, Danny. And that's kind of strange, because first of all, B&B already has a character named Lucy. She is the girlfriend of Stephen Logan, the dad of the three Logan sisters. And for that reason alone, I suspect that's not really her name. It would be pretty strange for them to give her the same name as an existing character, even one who's only seen now and then. And the second thing is that her son's name is Danny. If you don't also watch Young and the Restless, that might not catch your eye, but it definitely caught mine. So Sheila Carter has a granddaughter named Lucy. It's Lucy Romilotti, who is the kid of Daniel Romilotti and Daisy Carter. Daisy is Sheila's daughter. Daisy is a twin. Her brother's name is Ryder Callahan. And Daniel Romilotti's father is Danny. So we have two other CBS soap characters over on YNR, Danny and Lucy, that are tied to Sheila Carter. So what I suspect is that calling this new character Lucy may be a misdirect. Or maybe she's calling herself Lucy um, because I think they don't want to reveal the character's true name. Daisy Carter is the right age for actress Amanda Klutz to play her. And it is completely realistic for Daisy to have another kid and have named the boy Danny because she's crazy about Daniel Romilotti and his dad's name is Danny. He's this aging rock star over on YNR. I know it's all convoluted, but just bear with me for a minute. So Daisy was one of a set of twins born to Sheila Carter and Tom Callahan, a not so nice guy that was completely over on Young and the Restless. And Daisy was a real nutcase. She drugged Daniel Romilotti and slept with him. That's how she got pregnant with her daughter, Lucy. Eventually, Daniel wound up with custody of Lucy, and he's over in Genoa City right now at this moment on YNR, raising her with another woman who's raised her since she was little. Lucy is a teenager. So the ages are right for Amanda to be Daisy. And then it's the fact that we have this new gal is in scenes with Sheila Carter. So that's a red flag. It might be her daughter. 
And then Kimberlyn's reaction with the big eyes, which of course she'd be shocked if they had brought Sheila's Y&R daughter over to B&B. So perhaps this person has come to town, wants to meet her brother Finn. You know, she wouldn't have known about him before. Maybe she's calling herself Lucy, but I do suspect this might actually be Daisy. And Daisy having a son named Danny makes total sense because she was crazy about Daniel Romilotti, even if he's not the dad of that kid. And in case you wonder how this turns into a jaw-dropping plot for both Sheila and Deacon, well, Deacon knows the twins. Daisy's twin brother, Ryder, used to work for Deacon Sharp back when he lived in Genoa City. That was before Deacon, I think before he came over to Bold and the Beautiful because he's been on both soaps. Deacon also knew Sheila's daughter, Daisy. They were involved in some sketchy scenes back in the day. This is this historical tie between Deacon and Sheila from YNR that they've never touched on before on B&B. And in the photos from CBS Press, we have Steffi Forster with Finn at their home, and she is not looking very happy. And then we have other scenes with this woman, Lucy. I don't know if she shows up at the door and introduces herself as his sister, or if she has gotten herself into their lives under some kind of false pretenses. I mean, maybe she calls herself Lucy, and then it later comes out she's really Daisy Carter Callahan, Sheila's kid. I mean, it's really strange for someone with the name of Sheila's granddaughter showing up in scenes with Sheila, right? And it is 100% not her granddaughter, by the way. Lucy is a teenager over on YNR, and she's existing right now. So it's definitely not Lucy. And in the press photos, Steffi looks really tense and none too happy. Also of interest is that Liam is in one of the photos that's in this press thing. And I could see Liam like maybe digging up one of Sheila's kids to bring her around and try and drive a wedge between Finn and Steffi. But it's all very strange because some of the other picks have this Lucy and her son Danny with Kelly Spencer over at Il Giardino. So, you know, that would be very strange if Steffi lets somebody take her daughter to Il Giardino knowing that Sheila Carter is there. So maybe... I don't know, maybe Danny is a school friend of Kelly's and this Lucy has been working her way into their life and lying to them. Maybe she's doing it to help Sheila and keep an eye on them because it's all very suspect. By the way, the kid playing Danny is Elvis Cordero and he is Amanda Clute's real life son. This is not some random woman. There's a reason she is on there. Um, Yeah. So if this is Daisy Carter, let me tell you, she's a master schemer and a full-blown psycho like her mom, and that would be amazing. I'm very interested to see how this all unfolds. The script that Kimberlyn Brown showed a little snippet of was dated February 19th, so I suspect we're going to first meet Lucy then. And then the episode date for these photos is February the 20th. So this is all within the last one-fourth of February sweeps, which means it should be twisted. If Daisy has worked herself closer to Steffi without Steffi knowing that Sheila's daughter, that would be absolutely wild. She might be spying on them for her mother. That would definitely explain why Steffi let this woman take Kelly Spencer out to lunch and then winds up at Il Giardino. You know, it's all very sketchy, very interesting. I just can't imagine Steffi would agree to anyone taking Kelly over there. So I feel like this Lucy definitely is lying about who she is and what she's up to. And it just makes no sense for Bold to bring in a character and give her the name of an already existing Bold character, which is Brooke's dad's girlfriend, and also of a Y&R character since they do crossovers now and then. It's a really big mystery, but I feel like this is definitely the jaw dropper we were promised. And I think Lucy definitely could be Daisy Carter. She looks polite enough, but she could be a lunatic. She really was truly the offspring of Sheila Carter over on YNR, a lunatic, a schemer. She could be quite dangerous. This is looking great. I'm very excited about it. Drop your comments. Please click subscribe if you haven't already and definitely come back soon. And as always, it is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 